Those who do not preach the gospel. Those who hated the word of God. There was a person who kept vomiting, I looked closely and I saw that small baby snakes were popping out of her mouth. This person has hated the word of God. The word is food for the spirit. Our spirit grows and change through the word of God. Those who confess their love only with their lips but fail to give their heart to Jesus. Lord said, These people have not even once given their heart to me and only looked upon me as their neighbor. They did not love me. They called on me but only did so because they had to. They never cried for me but only cried for themselves. The modern people see, hear, feel, and meet whatever and whoever they want and their hearts and bodies get caught up in them. So even when is it told to them that there is a creator who created human beings and the spiritual world exists, they neither have the time to think of that world or show interest. It can be expressed simply that they live the way they do because they do not know the realities of the spiritual world. Lord said, Is it still your purpose of life to eat and live well here in this world? Is it still your wish to only live comfortably in this world? Realize this instant that the results of such a life will lead you straight to hell. Those who lived in this world having nothing to do with me, when they die, they will also go to a place where it has nothing to do with me. Path to Hell Path to Heaven There are so many paths in this world, but they all are ultimately two paths. It may seem that life consists of thousands of paths but everyone, when they die, will have to choose between two paths. What determines your fate of going to heaven or hell is your life here on earth. It may seem that life consists of thousands of paths but everyone, when they die, will have to choose between two paths. Just as gender, male or female, is determined in the womb, it is in the womb of earth that will determine the world where our spirit will reside. Everyone physical body is born once and faces death, but as people fated for death, our spiritual life is the outcome of our physical life. Lord said, My heart aches when the ones who I govern life in the midst of sin. They do not even know that is it is sin until the sins they commit pile higher and higher and becomes a tall strong tower. But I will forgive everyone who breaks down their tower, becomes cleansed, and comes to me. Your pains are my pains. Your suffering becomes my suffering. Everyone who lives in the midst of sin, quickly repent and come back to me. My path is straight and my bosom is wide and deep. I have expressed all of my love for all mankind. Repent sincerely so that you will not go to hell. Those who feel it deeply in their heart would strive with all their might not got to hell. Tell them about this hell. Let it be known. Hell is not an illusionary world. Even now, in the spiritual world, there are a massive number of people falling down to hell on a daily basis. Does it seem like a subject that does not relate to you? Don't ever forget that you can be one of those many people. There is no point in regretting and repenting in hell. There is no way to get out of that position, forever. You have to keep in mind that a world that rewards you according to your deeds is waiting for you after your death. The time of opportunity when you can repent and turn back is only during your lifetime on earth. Through this video, understand clearly that there is definitely hell. Engrave deeply in your heart that the Lord cries out to us with a burning heart because he does not want any one of us to go to hell. Our beloved Lord desperately wants to meet all of you in heaven. All of you who God created, come to life and cross over from death to the almighty domain of life. The place of where those who abide by the law of only God's word, look up only to the Lord, love him, and repent is heaven. Heaven is the world of eternal happiness, youth, and joy that never ends. We would like to thank the Lord for allowing us to view hell and paint it. We offer all the glory to the Trinity, the Holy Father, the Holy Son, and the Holy Spirit. We also thank our pastor who received the Lord's ideas through prayer. If you like this video, then like, subscribe and share. Thank you.